there. That's uh, that's probably one of the worst driving experiences I've had so far. To be fair, in my in my career. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. There is Collier's Wood Underground. Now, those of you who know where Collier's Wood Underground is will know I am essentially in London right now. Um, we're going to a place called, I think it's Sydenham's. Oh, that's tight. That was a squeeze. <laughs> is it Sydenham's? I don't know. There's, um, there's either a train station or an underground area there, Sydenham's. So um, that's where we're going. Is this going to be a bit tight with the bus? These roads look a little narrow with these bollards on the left and the right. Oh, it's close. Yeah, we're in London. <laughs> Let me just... Uh, I'll put that on because I can see fine outside. Just means you can see me a bit easier. Um, we are going to Sydenham, Sind Sydenham, Sydenham's, whatever you call it. I know there's a builder's merchant called Sydenham's. But we're going to Sind Sydenham's. Uh, it's sort of like northwest of, I think it was Bromford, I think, can't remember. <laughs> but either way, we're, we're in London, let's go forward. We're just keeping clear of that then. So yeah, we're, uh, we've are we got to go deliver to a place called, I think it was called Your Selection. Um, and I got 26 pallets of bottled water. Now this is honestly quite a squeeze. I'm going to assume... Like these bollards on the left are not rock hard, but I don't want to hit one just in case. I'm going to assume they bend if you hit them. Um, so yeah, uh, traffic's a little bit of a nightmare. We've got uh, motorbikes trying to squeeze in between cars and cars trying to pass me, like when it's merging into one. I think it's just standard London for you and that really, so. Uh, postcode of where we're going is SE26, and I know I just thought that because I said SW19. Let's just keep an eye out for cyclists, all clear. Why, why put a chicane, like a little bus stop chicane like that? I don't know. I don't know, strange. London is strange. You definitely got to be more vigilant now around uh, a London um, area. Yeah, we can make that. Just didn't want to stop on a keep clear sign I know uh, I know of a few people that have got done in London before for like stopping in uh, areas where you're not allowed to stop so yeah so we're only eight miles away but we're 40 minutes away <laughs> oh Jesus 40 minutes to do eight miles you should do those eight miles on a fast moving road in like 10 to 15 minutes 40 minutes. I'm supposed to be there for half seven, but uh, traffic has delayed me. ET is currently 10 to 8. So, yeah, I probably should have allowed for some extra traffic coming through London. So, my bad. But, yeah, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, um, we've got another 40 minutes to go or so. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
by the dash cam footage. I just had a bit of a nightmare. Just had to make a right hand turn and I took it quite wide and I still couldn't make the turn <laughs> um, without going over a bollard and like destroying the trailer. I, had to, I couldn't go any further forward. So I had to reverse into a junction. Uh, luckily a couple of bystanders helped me out. But I got out and I jumped out and I spoke to a few cars. I said, look, I'm really sorry. Can you just wait like just while I reverse back a little bit? But uh, I did have some, and I'm sorry for saying this, but complete knobheads on the left-hand side of me as I was trying to reverse back out at the cyclists, motorcyclists and cars, trying to get, oh, got my headlights on, trying to get round me while I was stuck. Like they just, they could not care less that I was stuck and uh, needed to get out. They just couldn't care. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably one of the worst driving experiences I've had so far. To be fair, in my in my career, it's all good. It's all good. I'm fine. But yeah, I come around the right-hand corner. I knew it was tight. I took it wide, but I didn't take it wide enough. Um, I, to get round it, I had to go on the curbs to get round. Jackknife it almost. So then the lorry didn't hit the uh, the buildings. Whew. Yeah. I'm good, I'm good. We're still five miles away, yeah? That's just uh, annoyed me that that happened, do you know what I mean? It's annoyed me that uh, I couldn't get around in one go and I caused a little bit of mayhem. There were obviously horns honking everywhere. <sighs> right, five miles to go, four and a half now. Nearly there, come on, nearly there. changed very late it's, mm, mm, tried not to break hard because of the uh, the load but they just changed quite late the Prince Alfred is where we are Sydenham Sydenham Road <sighs> still a little bit annoyed about that incident earlier shouldn't have happened annoyed with myself that it's happened if I'm honest I mean, it only took like five minutes to sort out, but it's just, yeah. Annoying that I've made a mistake, basically. Never mind. Let's go get these pallets off. I'm hoping these pallets can come off quite quickly. We've got to go get re reloaded um, somewhere south of London, I think somewhere near Croydon, I believe, to go to Nottingham. Um, uh, I'm probably going to assume I'm on a night out tonight. I think, I think that's quite far away, I'm not sure. I suspect that's the night out tonight, but that's fine. To be fair, <laughs> as soon as I park up, um, I'm probably gonna go straight to sleep. <laughs> um, that's how I'm feeling right now. Just lay down, go to sleep. Right, three quarters of a mile. Just gotta turn right up here where these red lights are. I gotta get out of here, yeah? Probably on the same road that I just come down. So that, that'd be fun. <laughs> Can't wait, looking forward to it. <laughs> Right, um, we've got to try and get the right right turn. So it's not this right turn. It's the next right turn. Um, yeah, I believe I'm in the right lane. This is going to be a bit tight though for cars on this side. So I just need to keep an eye out for cars on my right hand side when I turn around that corner around there. Huh. 
Oh, I think the place we're delivering to as well, I don't think there's a lot of room to park up, so it could be fun when we get there. And I also think it's one of those places where you've got to offload one side, move over, and then they do the other side. It doesn't look like there's a lot of space. We've got three lanes here. I was only expecting two. Oh, that car's just cut across the lane. One way system down here, look. According to this, the, the lines, not the lines, the signs. Oh, I just want to get parked up now. I've been driving for nearly three hours. Get this, uh, this truck parked up. Let's undo the straps and chill out in the back of the truck, the trailer, <laughs> while they unload me. Right, I'm just going to move over to this lane because we need to we need to bear right round here. So we'll stay in the middle lane just to be safe. Now we can go either way then. Going straight over. No, we're not. Yeah, we need the right hand side lane because we are going straight over, which is this lane. There we go. Straight up there. Nearly there now, nearly there. And then we just need to make a right and turn, just gonna double check the height, 13.2, because there's some train tracks up here, so there might be bridges. So it's always a good idea just to have your, your height in your mind sort of thing. Ugh. 20, 30, which one is it? 20, 30. Right, we're turning right here. No, not here, that's too early. After this van. Where that person is, we're turning right there. Uh -huh. Oh, that's it there, that's your selection. Right. That's where we're delivering to. Right, I'm just going to need to put my hazards on and just park up here a sec. People can get past me on the left. Uh, and I obviously need to go and speak to someone. I think people can get in behind me. People should be able to get in the front. Okay, right. We need to go and speak to someone, so be right back. Okay, situation report is we're still here. Hadn't even gone in yet. Uh, we've been here 45 minutes now. And he said, uh, give me 30 minutes, 40 minutes, we'll, give you, we'll get you in. It's been 45 now, so I'm about to go and uh, ask some questions. But uh, I've spun round. we basically got to get in there where that car's coming out of. Uh, the gate does open up a little bit more, I believe, on the right-hand side. It opens up to the yellow barrier. I do not know what that car's doing, it's been there a while now. And um, we've got to get some cars moved that are in there, and then I think it's a case of doing one side, move on over, do the other side, and then reverse back out onto this road that I'm on now. So, you know, just a case of waiting. What are you doing? We've got to, um, got to go get loaded after this with some stuff for boots distribution centre and take it to Nottingham. I think it's going to a big site. Uh, I did originally think it was going to go to a stall and um, yeah, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking forward to that. I've done I've done boot stall work before. <laughs> I know what they're like. Um, and, the particular, and I've been to Nottingham before as well. We've got to go underground. I think they call it the Into Centre. Pretty tight in there. And I remember having to have a tail lift and a pump truck and I had to basically take it off myself, put it on the tail lift and put it down and then they would um, take it into the store from there and I got no tail lift and I got no pump truck <laughs> so I was like where am I actually going so I asked the boss and he, and he said uh, it's the distribution centre so hopefully it'd be a case of backing onto a bay or forklifts or whatever but yeah no anyway I'm gonna go and uh, speak to him and see what's happening because uh, I've been here now 45 minutes so yeah see you in a bit right we're done <sighs> Been here a while. Hang on, just got to send a quick text. Okay, that's that text done. Now we've got to try and get out of here.
It is tight. Never mind, we'll give it a go. There we go, We're just missing the skip with the trailer. Trailer's angled at the right direction. Got to miss the skip with the truck. Okay, we're angled too much now. There we go, recorrect it. There's a car somewhere on my left. There it is. Okay. Now we've got to mind the gate on my right and my left. There's the gate on the right. Just missing the trailer. Now miss the truck. Can't see Matey Boy watching me back. Okay, we've got to get a bit more of an angle. turn very sharp like last minute oh that is close okay very sharp Cheers, mate. I want to go straight on now. All these cars are in my way. Range Rover coming now as well. There we go. Finally out of there. So we turned up at um, quarter eight. We got here in the end because we got caught in traffic and the little incident that we had. So we got here at quarter eight. And it's now 11 o'clock, so what are you doing? So, uh, yeah, we've been here like over three hours. Not good, not good. Um, we've got to go to a place now and get loaded where they wanted me to leave there by 11 o'clock, but we're not actually going to get there until quarter to 12. I think it's supposed to be in Nottingham for three o'clock, I think he said it was booked. No, I think he said it was booked for two o'clock. Yeah, 11 o'clock. He wanted me to leave by 11, get there for 2, because he said it takes about 3 hours. Which, by the way, I don't know about that, I think it might take a little bit longer, but... I ain't going to be there for 3 o'clock, let alone 2 o'clock, so... We'll have to wait and see. All clear, all clear, all clear. So yes. I wouldn't say it's been a stressful day, it's not been stressful. There's nothing I can do about it, so... It takes as long as it takes. But I do think I am definitely on a night out now tonight. Whereas um, if they got me tipped quite quickly, then I probably could have got to Nottingham, got it tipped and then made my way back. So, but I don't think there's a chance of that happening now. So I'm definitely on a night out tonight, I expect. Never mind, never mind. Anyway, let's get cracker lacking. Uh, make our way back through London and uh, <laughs> see you in a bit.
just need to go to the left. There's a, a bypass and it's just come over as a left lane turn. So we need to get in the left. Do we really want to be turning down here? Anyway, sorry. You join me uh, like over three hours later from loading up those pallets. And uh, we are in Nottingham and we are literally just around the corner from where we need to be. Dunkirk industrial area. Sounds good. I reckon there's gonna be a bloke on the security gate. Right, we've got a small problem. Just gonna, just gonna pull out, uh, okay. We've got a small problem. The problem is, the problem is, um, we've only got 10 pallets to take off. But even though the, the ref, bloody road. I got, right, I got two jobs basically. I thought it was just the one, it's two jobs. But it's under the same reference with the same delivery time. But the addresses are two different addresses. Now, I just phoned them up, uh, the guys we're doing the work for, and they said it's definitely going to the same place, even though the paperwork on one of them says a different address, which is 20 minutes away. Still a boots place, but it's 20 minutes away. Um, so I need to, try and get, need to try and get them both off in here, because that's what's, uh, what they've told me to do. It's only 10 pallets, like I said. We want building D82, apparently. And uh, I, th I think there's some security down here. Yeah, it's a security hut, so they should be able to tell me where it is. I'm pretty sure it's just down here on the right, from what I can make out. But we soon see. Soon see, soon see. Oh, I think I've got to get out and speak to him. Right. Hello, you're right. Yeah, I've got to go to. I think it's D82 Boots. Yeah, but down to the lorry park to get booked in first. Yeah. I did understand a word you said there, mate. Down to the lorry park to get booked in first. Lollipop. Yeah, down in the lorry park. Lorry park. Park up. Yeah. And then walk across the road. Yeah. The booking office is in the middle, middle of the road. Where is the lorry park? I've never been here before. Where? Yeah. Straight up the road. Yeah. Past the warehouse on the left. Yeah. Then the next left is the lorry park. Then come out to your lorry. Yeah. Walk across the road. There's a building in the middle of the road. Yeah. That's the booking office. Cool. All right. It's opposite the toilet where somebody's booking you in. Sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, that is windy. He's uh, he's got a face mask on, and I couldn't understand the word he was saying. Okay, situation is this. We're on the bay, baby. On the bay. Um, so, I got a little bit stressed, not gonna lie. Trying to find uh, this parking bay that I was supposed to go to. And um, went around in circles quite a while. <laughs> and then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight to this place. So this is where I just came straight here. Uh, Cause the person told me, oh, just turn red. You see the light just turn red. I don't know if you saw that. 107 was green just now. That means they're in the back of me. I'll turn those adders off, they're annoying. Yeah, so I knew what build I needed to go to because my uh, the, the bloke we're doing the work for told me already. So I just come straight around here. Drove around there, just parked up there. Not supposed to, but oh well, parked there. We went into the uh, the office and said, oh yeah, uh, I'm really sorry I'm late. I've had a bit of a nightmare today. Uh, I've just got 10 pallets for you. Uh, do you want me to go onto a bay or do you want me to go and wait somewhere? I just goes, oh no, yeah, just go, go on the bay, love, go on the bay, love. So he said 107, and uh, I was like, okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, result, 10 pallets to come off. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. It's four o'clock now, so, I mean, they should, okay, someone's in the back of me now. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? That sounds very wrong. They should be off in like five minutes. As soon as that light turns green, where it says 107, we know we can go and grab our keys and then, uh, Foxtrot Oscar back towards home. We um, we are home tonight if we can get home, but I don't think we can, so we'll see. We'll see what we can do with our driving time and working time.
Right, we are now leaving. It's a bit awkward because I was right on the corner of the bay when getting off and I couldn't open, I couldn't close my doors without pulling out and when I pulled out you got to go this way so I had to go left and then there's trucks coming in and it's just a bit of a nightmare to be honest with you I'm going to stop so let's stop here and switch off engine I wasn't going to get out <laughs> for no reason. Man's got places to be! <laughs> yeah, so um, we're tight on time, both working time and driving time. It doesn't mean we're going to drive recklessly. Um, I'm fully prepared to do a night out. Um, it was only because he said, by he I mean my boss, because he said uh, get back as close as you can and we'll see if we can get, pick you up. So, I don't know, we need to stop at Leicester Services, get some fuel, uh, we've got a quarter of a tank now, which is plenty to get back, but I might then tomorrow not have many places to fill up, so I'll just get in now, and then uh, we're going to go back on the A429, which takes you back to Cyrus so that way, I want to avoid uh, Birmingham and the M5 area, because uh, I just I know that's going to get rampacked come five o'clock, which is in 15 minutes time, it's quarter to five now, so yeah, we're going to, uh, going to go back on the uh, 429, because I know there's plenty of lay buys there, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, let's just crack on, I'm yammering on a little bit now, excuse me, anyway, let's get crack a lagging, see you in a bit. Okay, situation report, uh, we've now been driving for just over an hour. We also had to stop, get some fuel, uh, and also have half an hour break as well. So the time, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <coughs> the time now is 10 past six in the evening. Um, and we can work until quarter to, quarter to eight, quarter to eight. <laughs> so we got um, about an hour and a half left of working time. Um, and we're an hour and a half away from the yard. <laughs> so it's touch and go as to whether or not we can make it. I think I am gonna try and make it. And if I have to stop up around the corner, then so be it. And then someone will just come and uh, give me a lift back. I think that's the plan. Uh, the other issue is driving time. I can only drive for, th well, I can only drive for three hours in total from when I left there, because I was on seven hours driving for the day when I was on the bay. Uh, so I can, only do, I can only do a 10 hour well, you can only You can only do a nine hour drive, uh, but you can extend it to 10 twice a week. So I'm gonna be doing a 10 hour drive today. I'm on an hour and 15 nearly, like I said. Well, yeah, nearly almost an hour and 15. So I got an hour and 45 left of driving time. Like I said, I'm an hour and a half away. So what that means is I got 15 minutes spare of driving time and no minutes spare of working time. <laughs> I got an hour and a half to get there. If I don't get there in an hour and a half, that's it. Finito. <laughs> now there was loads of ways I could have got come back. I could have come back like via the M6 uh, and then M5 past Birmingham and all that. And I decided against that. I decided against that, sorry, because I, I thought there'd be a lot of traffic, especially around about five o'clock. So uh, I'm going this way. Um, where are we? Can't remember where we are now. Coventry, just south of Coventry. And uh, we're going to take the A429 and go via the Cotswolds. So it's like Water on the Water and Farringdon and all that. Which is basically my neck of the woods. So we're going to go uh, Cotswolds and... Uh, road's closing here. We're going to go Cotswolds and uh, if we can't make it, there's a, there's a service station just before you get on the A419. Um, so I'll stop there if I can't make it. Um, if I think I can, I'll carry on and then come off the dual carriageway and I could just stop on the spine road. It'd be quiet this time of night, so um, I wouldn't park there, but I could definitely stop there with my hazards on while, uh, while someone gives me a lift. But um, 
no, hopefully we'll be okay. Hopefully we'll be okay. As long as there's no traffic, um, or as long as there's no one doing 40 and a 50 or whatever all the way, because it is single track most of the way, uh, country lanes. So we just got to hope that uh, there's no one going unnecessarily slow. Weather conditions, it's a, it's a little bit wet out there, so I can understand why some people would slow down. So we'll just see, we'll just see. But I am open to get home tonight. Um, I have had some dinner, I had a Cornish pasty, and uh, I also bought myself an all-day breakfast sandwich. I've only had one, I've got another one in there. Um, quite full up at the moment, so. Yes, that's, uh, that's today nearly finished, so. Let's see if we can get home. I'm not, to, I'm not sure what time sunset is. What time is sunset today? I think, yeah, it's uh, 10 past eight is sunset. So it should be light still when we get back to the yard. It won't be pitch black. Fingers crossed. Right, let's carry on. See you in a bit. Right, so yeah, we're just getting onto the A419 now. Just come off the A429. And uh, so yeah, it's been a long, long day today, but it's part of the job, isn't it? Part of the industry. Um, I wouldn't have been home this late if I didn't have the... Uh, uh, this morning when I was doing my first delivery, I got there at 8 o'clock and uh, didn't leave until 11 o'clock. So we were there for three hours. And then there's a good old drive up to Nottingham and back again. That was six hours driving, just getting up there and back pretty much. So, yeah, never mind. But uh, yeah, we're, we're going back to the yard now, park up, and then tomorrow morning, can't start um, before 7 o'clock anyway, because no one is in before then and I need to be reloaded. Uh, and I'm going to Tamworth and Huddersfield tomorrow to uh, do two drops with a full load and then get reloaded Doncaster and come back so hopefully tomorrow goes quite well and that load from Doncaster is coming back here and then apparently going down to Portsmouth but that's 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 two days time we don't need to worry about that just yet <laughs> so yeah no I just wanted to take a, a quick moment to uh, to talk about the class one work and the hours because obviously yes there are more hours and um, you know, I mean, I'm I'm free to do what I want, really, and I let's be honest. But there are the odd pe people on on social media that have been like, you know, you change your jobs more than they've had up dinners and not loyal, and you said you didn't want to work long hours and leave your family, but you've gone back and blah 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 blah. But yeah, I mean, here's the thing, right? I love driving. I I love driving. I love going to new places. Um, working the long hours doesn't affect me. I'm quite content to do 15 hour shifts. Um, yes, I want to be home and I want to see my family without a doubt. And they want to see me, I hope. <laughs> but also they know that um, whilst working at Earthline, even though the money was great and the hours were great, they know that, um, you know, it wasn't ticking all the boxes. I just wanted to get out and about a bit more. And doing the same stuff over and over again is quite repetitive and quite boring. And um, yeah, I just wanted more of a challenge, really. Like today, doing in London. <laughs> as, as as much as I'm annoyed with myself for making that mistake, it's a challenge, and you know I've, I overcame it. And uh, I know better for next time. It makes you learn uh, and improve your abilities as as a person, as a driver. So that's why I'd rather do class one. I mean, yes, the hours are longer. Yes, I took a pay cut to come here, but I'm gaining more in the in the sense of a sense of achievement and just getting out on about a bit more which is what I want now you know and I don't have to tell you guys this I don't but I, I like to I like to just let you know how I'm feeling now when I was asked if I wanted to come and work for these guys because I mean I I just out of interest just said oh I've got any work let us know and then and then they offered me a job they were like yeah if you, if you want a job Luke it's yours so I had to think about it over a weekend and uh, I, I, I sat both my daughters down. One of them was five, one of them was eight. And, well, nearly eight. But I sat them both down and I explained to them that, you know, daddy's going to get a new job, but only if they say yes. I said, um, I, I will be away more, potentially, and they may not see me at night, like I used to. Um, so, what do you think? And the eldest in particular, she said, of course I'm going to miss you, but as long as you're happy, I'm happy. And that comes from my eight-year-old daughter. So, and, and if she said no, I don't want you to stay away, I don't want you to 
not be home, then without a doubt, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got this job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have accepted it. But it's because that my daughter and my youngest daughter, they both said they're okay with it. And it's hard on my girlfriend because yeah, I'm away a little bit more, and obviously we're about to be married in November. But she also understands that it's what I like doing. Um, you know, and we just make compromises to to make each other happy. And yeah, I know it's, it, it's hard, and I do feel bad sometimes because I'm finishing late. Like tonight, it's half seven, nearly eight o'clock. Probably gone eight o'clock. Time I get home, probably. And like the kids will probably be just about, just about going to bed, and they've already ate. They've already had their dinner. I've already told them to have dinner. What about me? You know, it's not it's not fair getting them to wait, is it? So it's just yeah. Oh, but I enjoy myself doing this, so part of me thinks like I'm being selfish. But um, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to carry on doing this job, and they know I want to carry on doing this job. I, I just think there's so many more potential um, like possibilities and learning. Where are you going? You're still indicating. I, I can learn so much more, and one of our members of staff, uh, they they actually live in Spain, and um, they're going to be going back to Spain and doing work in Europe with this company and there's there's rumors of said person requiring trailer swaps in for example France and one a driver may be required to go and do a trailer swap and I'm, I'm well up for that I'm well up for doing some European work um, maybe maybe not European but like go to France um, I'm well up for it so yeah watch this space because that is something I want to do and yeah, I know it's hard on my family, but um, they also understand that I'm happy doing what I'm doing. The reason I left JK wasn't because I was spending so much time away from the family, it was because I was doing nights, working throughout the night and then sleeping during the day. That's why I ultimately left JK. Um, and as long as I don't do nights again, I won't be leaving this company. <laughs> so yeah, just wanted to to, uh, to, to mention that, I don't have to, but yeah, I just felt like I wanted to get off my chest, so there we go. Anyway, we are literally just around the corner from the yard now, I've been rambling on for too long, one mile away from the yard. There's day aggregates, you might know, remember that place I used to work out of, and there's the arch bridges there as well. Um, yeah, I used to come down this road an awful lot, didn't I, when I was doing the day aggregate stuff. So yeah, anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video now, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, hopefully you're really enjoying the class one work. Um, I don't mean to sound down. I'm not down. I'm actually really enjoying the job at the moment, uh, even though it's long hours. So I'm, I'm, I'm well happy in the position in life that I'm in at the moment. And long may it continue. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, remember, drive safe and stay safe. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.